I've been using Gmail since the day it was launched. Here are seven features I think you should turn on right now. Have you ever had that moment where you've hit send and then realized you've made an awful spelling mistake like I just called myself Bean? Click undo at the bottom of the screen to get your message back before the recipient has ever seen it. To enable this for yourself, click on the settings gear at the top of the screen, choose see all settings, and then choose your send cancellation period here. I've got mine set to 30 seconds, but if you think you can be a bit quicker, you can set it from anything from five seconds. Next, I've always heard complaints from people switching from Outlook to Gmail that they don't have a preview pane. All you have to do is click this button in the top right of the screen, and there you have it. There's your preview pane. If you click on an email, it'll show up, including the whole conversation if you have conversation view turned on as well. Now, if for some reason you don't see that icon, all you need to do is click on the settings gear at the top of the screen and scroll down and choose whether you want your preview pane on the right hand side or at the bottom of your screen. For our third tip, don't forget to use search in Gmail to find what you're looking for. For example, I could search for a particular person and click their email address here and there are all the emails. But did you know that just creates a URL with that search, which means I can click the bookmark icon and save this to my bookmarks bar. So now this search is just one click away whenever I want it. You probably already use labels, but if you don't, you can quickly create them by clicking the plus button here and typing in what you'd like it to be called. But did you know you can change the color of labels? For example, I can click the three dots here next to my to-do label, go to label color at the top here and choose the color I want. Now, when I label one of my emails in my inbox, it'll be really quick and easy to see it. There are a million ways you could organize your inbox in Gmail and stay tuned for a video coming soon where I show you my system for how I manage my Gmail inbox. But one way you can do it is to enable priority inbox. Let's go to settings, choose see all settings, then click on the inbox tab. Now under inbox type, we see default, but if I click here, I can change to priority inbox. Priority inbox gives me four different slots that I can show and hide in my inbox. Now, here are the default options. What I'm gonna do is remove these top two sections and instead just create a section under more options here by selecting the to-do label that I just created. Now, if I scroll down and save changes, what happens is I've got a section at the top of my inbox for those emails labeled to do and then a section for everything else. And if I wanna hide that to remove the distraction, I just click and everything is hidden. I think this final tip is the most hidden feature that most people don't know about in Gmail. So let's click the settings gear on the top right, choose see all settings and scroll down to the stars section in the settings panel here. Now by default, there's one yellow star, but what I'm gonna do is actually drag that star down to not in use and instead just select this exclamation mark and maybe this checkbox here. Again, scroll down, click on save changes and now, when I click on the star button next to any email, if I keep clicking, it will scroll through the stars that I've chosen. So I could just mark emails as urgent, for example, or I could maybe have a checkbox for when they're done. There are loads more tips that I could share for Gmail, or if there's something that you love to do in Gmail, why not share that down in the comments, or let me know what you'd like to see next.